All right. Solo, get your chair. Let's go. Paige needs her chair. Paige needs okay. her chair. Okay, go. It's all done. You're just doing it now. Didn't you take that home last night? I told her to take the chair. As soon as the chair came into the room and I touched it, and I saw that my hands were black with marker, I knew right then and there her mother, Kelly, left the chair in the studio. Ding that. Oh, look, she's looking to see if it's. Where are the stoppers? I wanted these rubber stoppers. I'll have them for the competition. No stoppers. I mean, really, this is important. Kelly, do something. You, Abby. You don't need them for the competition. I told you to do it for today. Look at that language. Doesn't that embarrass you? That she has to use language like that? That's a, what a truck driver uses. Why would she do that she to Paige? The you're, you're finished. Next. Who's solo? Why are you punishing Paige? Abby should have left the room, came and spoke to me, and I would have explained to her why she had no stoppers on her chair because I was busy doing Abby Lee Miller's job, making her costumes. Oh, look at me. Uh... You know what, Abby? We're done. You're not doing a solo. Neither of my kids are doing a group dance. That's fine. OK? That's fine. Good luck making pay your bills without my tuition. <laughs> and props, and I don't get them. I've been here all day making costumes for you while you were down the road eating. Stop eating. That's why you're fat. Goodbye. You were a mean girl when you were 12. You're still a mean girl. I want to go home. We are. <laughs> Paige was frightened because Abby is a 400-pound woman and threw a chair with my daughter in the room. You can credit me for the rest of my tuition for the month. We will be traveling to Ohio. We might see Kendall. Paige, you're going to be our title entrant. Paige will be competing directly against Kendall for the title. You will be doing tongue twister. It's your responsibility to know it. She will not have a rehearsal. She's welcome to use the studio, but she has to get in here on her own. Paige's solo is one she knows well, and I want to see a crown on your head. Do you understand? Already. My favorite part of Pyramid was when she said, Paige, you need to win this crown. No excuses, but no practice for you with any teachers. Do it on I your know. own. Abby, yes. can we speak to you for a moment? Certainly. What's up? Someone has to teach her her dance. She's known her dance since last Abby, summer in she Florida. learned her dance for an hour last summer. Right. We pulled it because she didn't know it and the costume didn't work. And she learned it for an hour last week and has never run it since. She knows the dance. Yeah, and it sucks. Let's just put it this way. With the choreography that Paige has, Kendall is going to beat her. She does a bunch of hip moves and poses. Poses. Put something in it. Go in there, step up her choreography so she has a chance to beat Kendall. You know, I danced at Abby's years ago myself, and I may have forgotten a few steps, but I think I can handle a little re-choreographing. I changed the choreography because I just don't think that this dance is good enough to win a crown in a junior category. Point that foot. Whack that leg. Oh, point your feet. All the moves that I'm putting in for Paige, I think is really going to make the dance technically difficult enough that she has a great chance of beating Kendall. Do you like this way better than the way she had it? Yes. Well, let's hurry up and get out of here before Abby sees us. This is Paige, a junior Miss Next Star contestant.
her feet are all sickled underneath her. She does the cartwheel over the chair into a side area. Her legs are bent, feet are sloppy. Kelly, you're much more successful at the real bar, not the ballet bar. Stick to what you do best. <laughs> I am so proud of Paige. She went against Abby and did the dance that she wanted to do. And I think that takes a lot of courage. You went up on stage, you did what mommy told you to do, and you were fabulous. Paige, what were you doing out there? As soon as she started, it was like the wrong pose on the chair. I'm like, what is she doing out there? Well, you told her to work on it herself, so we worked on it at home. Maybe her teacher should work with her more, and then we'll do the dance that you choreographed. What was wrong with the dance that I choreographed? And besides your mother's opinion, what, what else? Because I did easy steps. Because you do easy steps? I just wanted to be, like, challenged more. You can't send her for a title and not have anything in it. The things that she put in it were a mess. If she doesn't challenge herself, she's never going to get better at anything. I don't want to put her on the stage making her do things she's not ready to do. I want her to do what she does well. Is she capable of more? Absolutely. But what I gave her was clean, and it would have clearly been Kendall. She went behind my back. How dare you? This is all Kelly's fault. I blame the parent, not the child. Don't be I'm sorry. It's mommy's fault. I'm the one that made I'm anxious about these awards. Seventh place, 448 is Tongue Twister. That's Sixth place, 416, Angry Bird. Congratulations, Chloe. Congratulations, Paige. I think Paige's choreography did pretty good. She got in the top 10, right below Chloe. She did. I just think that you underestimate Paige. I think that if Paige gets some attention, she has the ability to go out there and place. I need to see a change in her. She needs to want it, Kelly. Paige? You told her at Pyramid right. you she were not working it. with her. That's true. Do it herself. She did it. That didn't mean to change the choreography. That means to just clean up what I've given you. You don't know what my plans are for you. You can't read my mind. You have to trust me. I did not put you in it to fail. You're playing with fire, Kelly.